When I was a little girl, my mother used to say, there's no such thing as half family. And yet, feeling as though I belong somewhere, anywhere, has always been my greatest challenge. When I became a mother in my 30s, I could no longer ignore this disconnect. I wanted better for my daughter. I began obsessively cooking a meal from every country in the world. Four years exploring Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, all from my tiny kitchen in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Every meal I cooked was, it was a walking meditation. There's nothing more soothing than stirring, kneading, working my way through a recipe. But I realized I would never truly feel at home in this world if I didn't make peace with my past. Cooking began to unlock rough and humble memories of my childhood, and a simple culinary journey quickly turned into much, much more. My story begins where it had to begin, in my mother's makeshift kitchen, where she struggled to create feasts from our Italian-Hungarian heritage on a food stamp budget. But challenges soon piled up, landing my brother and me in a string of foster homes. When an unthinkable loss lands me a continent away, impossibly far from everyone I'd ever known or loved, I, I clung to the honest simplicity of cooking as a lifeline. Most people who have had a rough background will admit there's something unsettling about finding happiness after difficulty, that even after we unwrap this gift, we don't really know how to stop searching for something else. But real happiness is an exercise in resilience, just as with cooking. Everything depends on the moment the spice hits a hot pan, whether it sizzles with a mouth-watering fragrance or turns to ash. Happiness is the spice, that fragile speck beholden to the heat, always and forever tempered by our environment. For all those who struggle to find a sense of belonging, my culinary journey reveals the simple truth that happiness and real peace starts within. This is the story I share with you, Life from Scratch, my memoir of food, family, and forgiveness.